Hi, my name is Ezekiel Oliferia and I'm a fourth year student studying mechanical engineering at the University of Benin. In this video, I'll walk you through the optimization of a C-clamp, also known as a G-clamp. You might be wondering, why a C-clamp? Well, these versatile tools are used across various industries from woodworking to metalworking and they play a crucial role in securing workpieces. Having spent time in a bustling workshop, I began to notice that the weight of a traditional C-clamp can be quite inconvenient to the skilled artisans who rely on them daily. This is what inspired me to not only enhance the performance but also reduce the weight while still retaining the structural integrity of this trusty tool. Now let's get started. Okay, so I'll start by creating a new sketch and I'll make a 2D sketch of the top view of the C-frame of our C-clamp with the dimensions shown. I'll then extrude another depth to it to form the geometry of our C-clamp. Now I'll add other details to the geometry of our C-clamp which includes the fixed jaw and the hole in which the screw is going to pass through. I will then partition the hole and add the thickness so that materials will not be removed from that part during the optimization. In order to model the screw through the hole for the analysis, I will add a grounded bolt there. Multiplying the clamping force of this C clamp by the area of the fixed jaw, I got the pressure which will act on the fixed jaw, which I then added. Now I'll go to analysis and I'll select more accurate for the speed and accuracy and then I'll run the analysis for this load case. Viewing the analysis results, we can see that the maximum displacement is 0.32mm and the factor of safety is about 56 hence there is room for optimization. Now going to the optimization, I'll first select the design space. In order to get a symmetrical and a feasible result, I will add a plane of symmetry and I will select split draw as our draw direction. I will then go to optimization and then select the objective which is to minimize the mass of the C clamp. I will then add thickness constraints between 20 and 40 millimeters, then I will run the optimization. So I'll just view the optimization results and I'll slide a little bit to adjust this. Yeah, then I'll analyze the optimization result to see if it's acceptable. Viewing the analysis results of our optimized C-clamp, we can see that the maximum displacement is just about 1 millimeters, and the factor of safety is about uh, 3.1 so our result is very much acceptable knowing that the optimization result is acceptable I'll just go ahead and fit in pulling ups and yes the final generated design Now this new design for our C-clamp is not just lightweighted but also it retains its structural rigidity and it has a really cool and aesthetic design with the organic structure and the fine texture from the pruning knobs is just great. Now I'll just go ahead and compare the weight of our traditional C-clamp with that of our optimized result. So with the help of Inspire, we were able to reduce our mass from about 12.65 kilograms down to about 2.38 kilograms. 
from start to finish Altier Inspire helps us to effortlessly create geometry, run robust finite element analysis, and perform optimization, which generates really cool and sturdy designs. It has a user friendly interface and it's easy to use. If you're an engineer or a designer, Inspire is a very powerful tool, so you should consider checking it out and watch it take your designs to another level. Thank you, Altier, and bye for now.